all you need to know about Pumpkin Fest. Yes, you guys heard that right. I'm your host, Von Doctor Genius, and in today's video, I'm telling you guys everything you guys need to know about Pumpkin Fest, possibly to understand what's going on. That's right. As you guys can see over here, I prepared a little presentation for you guys, and yes, it is raining outside. You. Right. So, anyways, assuming that you guys heard the rain sound, let's get straight to it. Now, you guys may be wondering, well, what's Pumpkin Fest? You say. Well, Pumpkin Fest is a seasonal festival in Prodigy. It's based on Halloween. Its primary currency is candy corn. Its shopkeeper currently, as of as far as we know, is candy corn, a slime person, and um, however you pronounce that name, whatever she was, that witch, she was replaced by candy corn. I guess candy corn is a better character for Prodigy because it's a slime person and they don't have to add an evil ghost witch to it, but still, it makes sense. Right, so now in the shop, there are 19 variable items, one buddy, and lots of house items. Right, so if you guys haven't noticed, but um, there's something weird about Pumpkin Fest, okay? If you open up their shop, nothing is priced normally. Nothing! I mean, you can go to a shop, an actual shop in real life, and find stuff priced more accurately. Right, if you look at the prices in Prodigy, it's something for like, buy a candle for one candy coin, or buy this mask for one candy coin. Yeah, it's kind of pretty weird. Right, so that's enough about this. Let's head to the next page. Now, let's talk about the history of Pumpkin Fest. So, right, guys, the oldest video proof of Pumpkin Fest was on October the 4th of 2016. Yeah, I don't know anything else about it. its history, so yeah. Um, let's head to the next page. Right, so now, here we have some information on the shop and what to buy. So, in the shop, there are 20 items, including armor, stuff, and buddies, right? So... As, a, as far as we know, there are 13 hats which cost 135 candy coin. Finally, something which is priced normally. I mean, look at the rest of these prices. 74? How am I supposed to get 74, 67, 31? So as you guys can see, there are 5 outfits combining up to 74 candy coin. That's like 7 days of work. Give us some... What do you call it? Yeah, I, I'm out of words. But as you guys can see, there are 5 wands, costing an added total of 67 candy coins, 1 buddy, which is 31 candy coins. Why? Why do you have to give it 31 candy coins? Why can't it just be an evil multiple of 5? Why? Just put it at 30. Right, and on this side, as you guys can see, if you wanted to buy all of the wearable items along with buddies, it would cost you 307 candy corn or 31 days of work, assuming that you didn't do anything else but farm candy corn. Yeah. So obviously, as you guys can see, it will take a lot of work to buy all of the wands and hats in over here. Now, I'm just going to give you guys a quick montage of all of the wands and hats which you can get there. Right guys, so here, as you guys can see over here, I have every single item in the shop which you can buy, excluding the house items, okay? So first of all, as you guys can see over here, we have all of the items. I'm going to be telling you guys all of their names and stuff, but I'm not going to comment on the prices yet, okay? The prices are kind of weird if you ask me. Right guys, so starting off with, let's go over the information about these masks and tell you guys how good they are. So starting off with, we have the Goblin Mask, which has a health bonus of 2, so it's not too good, nor is it too bad. It's a semi-decent mask. Now guys, for the Scarecrow and the Mummy Mask, they both do a heart bonus of 2, which isn't too good, nor is it too bad. It's sort of semi-decent, and it isn't really good armor. If you guys were able to get the Relic Rings, it would be much better. Now the next thing which we have is the Wolfie Mask. Now this mask does a heart bonus of 4. So it's a decent mask, you can use it in some battles, I guess you could say. Now our next mask, the Ghastly Hood, does a heart bonus of 6, which is pretty good. It's non-member, as you guys can tell. So only 3 of these masks are non-member, okay? Next up we have the Luminite Mask. Now this mask does a heart bonus of 4. Right, so this mask isn't too good, nor is it too bad. It's just like a decent enough mask, which you can wear if you don't have anything else. This is like those things which can help out people who are just starting in Prodigy. Next up, we have the Scully Mask, which is a hard bonus of 4. I guess they're trying to make it match the price of the candy corn, except it's not exactly working, but still, it's a pretty nice mask. Next up, we have the Frankenstein Mask, which is a hard bonus of 4. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. And guys, did you know that the Pumpkin Fist Head is a hard bonus of 6, so it's not bad at all, and it pairs up with two other items, which is pretty nice if you ask me. And finally, but definitely not least, we have the Spectre Hood. Now this item is a hard bonus of 4 and, well, if you guys can guess, most of the items here are going to be rendezvousing around the same theme of doing a hard bonus of 4, right? So you guys can see, there are some pretty weird prices. I mean like, one candy coin? 
I bet that thing costed more than one candy corn to manufacture. How are you selling me this for 16 candy corn? This just drives me nuts because it's not a multiple of five and it's annoying, okay? Right? This is... Uh, wait, okay. This is how I feel about it. Yeah, you guys saw. Right, so as you guys can see over here, it turns out that the Scarecrow um, costume does a heart bonus of two. Along with that, the Phantom Cloak does a heart bonus of six. Furthermore, the Illuminate costume does a heart bonus of two. That's, uh, that's okay. In addition to that, the Spectre Robe does a heart bonus of two. I mean, that was kind of expected. And the Pumpkin Outfit does a heart bonus of six. Right, and Spooky is a buddy, okay? If you guys were wondering what is Spooky, well, he's a buddy, okay? So, in case there was any confusion, I'm sorry for it, but he's a buddy. Right, so that's all of the information about this. Let's head to the wands. Now, if you guys look over here, first and definitely not the worst, we have the chocolate bar wand. Now, this bar wand, in order to use it, you must be a level 20. This right, guys, so this wand can cast a spell, Strawberry Strike. It is a 3% attack, and it does 15 power damage. So, it's not a bad wand. It's decent, but relic coin wands are much better. Right, next up, we have the candy corn wand. Right, so this wand is a members only wand, you have to be level 15 to use it. Its spell is unknown because I don't have it and I don't think that um, I had the wand during the information part of it, but it does a power bonus of 10 and it is a 3 person wand because all wands in Podigy are 3 people wands. Next up we have the pumpkin wand which is a non-member wand. The level required to use it is level 20. The spell it can cast is Char Clone and um, its range is for 3 people and it does a power bonus of 10. So, it seems like this wand is a little bit weaker compared to the other ones, but it's not bad. Next up, we have the Spooky Candle. Now, this is an everyone type wand, basically, you don't have to be a member to buy it. Level required is 20, you can cast a spell Charful, I mean Char Clone, and it has a range of 3 people and 10 damage. So, it's not the best, but it's a decent spell. So, last but definitely not least, we have Glassfire. So, this is an interesting type of looking wand in Prodigy. Now, this wand, in order to use it, you must be a level 20, it has a power bonus of 5, it casts a spell Charclone, and it does not need membership, okay? So now, this perfectly pairs with the phantom thingy, yeah. And it looks pretty cool, I mean, you guys can see over here, it looks like it's a cool wand. Right, so if you head to the next page over here, as you guys can see, over here we have the armor, the wands, and the buddy. Obviously, the buddy is pretty cute, I think it's worth its price, except, why 31? Just make it 35! Why? And if you guys look over here, I can see that the candles are pretty much priced properly. Except for this one. Why do you have to put 21 and 11? Everything else was perfect. Just the 21 and 11 just... Yeah, messes it up. So as you guys can see, they have a pretty cool outfit scheme which matches each other and their wands. Right, so here we have Wolverine or Wolf costume. And you guys get my point. They have some pretty cool items here. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, the shop also has morph marbles in it, right? So, as far as we know, there are only three morph marbles. And did you guys know, you know that the maximum amount of morph marbles which you can buy is 99? Apparently, I was thinking 100 while writing this. Ah, yes, I love redoing the calculations. Right, so, if we head down over here, as you guys can see, if you wanted to buy one of each morph marble it would cost you six because that's two times three which is six okay so now in order to buy 99 of each you would have to have yourself a grand total of 594 candy corn to buy each i know over here i wrote 600 but there's 100 over there so i just subtracted six you guys know what i, what I mean right so if you look at 600 candy corn that's almost 60 days of work like that's longer than how much Halloween Fest lasts, and that's longer than how long I've been playing Prodigy. Well, well, that's only how long I've been in Halloween Fest. I've only been twice, but yeah, that's... Let's head to the next page. So now, if you guys head to the next page, as you guys can see, there are a lot of house items to buy. There are 13 of them. And boy, are these prices so odd. I mean, like, why are you selling a piano for 7 candy corn? Just make it a multiple of 5. Why not a multiple of five? Right, it just makes me angry. Prodigy, please make the prices normal and make it a multiple of five. Right, as you can see, there are 13 house items. The maximum you can buy of the house items is nine, I do believe. So if you want to buy one of each item, it would cost you 55 candy coin. And if you wanted to multiply that times 10, well, then that would cost you 550 candy coin. And I just realized I wrote that wrong, but still. Yeah, so if you guys wanted to buy all of these house items, and max them out. You would have to do 
555 candy cord or 55 days of work is prodigy trying to make it that we will never be able to buy everything in their festival i mean i've been playing prodigy for four years and i can't get this stuff yeah that's life right and if you had last but definitely not least we have the conclusion Right, so the total amount of house items to buy are 36, with only one house item to buy, otherwise it would be off the charts. If we were counting all of the house items, it would be 153 items, I think, right? These are some rough calculations. Now, if you look over here, it says total amount of candy corn needed is 1,557, which is crazy because that's 145.7 days of work. I mean, okay, that's gonna be like 4.7 months of playing in Pumpkin Fest, which is approximately five years of prodigy waiting if you ask me i don't think anyone's gonna wait five years to finish this all right guys so there go my plans for getting everything down the drain and over here as you can see candy corn the evil human being is saying he 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 you will never be able to buy everything muhaha unlike Summerfest, evil laughing continues you're evil okay guys i spent this entire video crunching out the numbers going through my old videos to figure this stuff out so guys, a sub would be great, and a like would be great, and comment down below what you guys want to see next. I'm having a new challenge video coming out soon, so guys, don't forget to keep an eye out for that. So that's all for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to smack ring that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and I do realize I just said that again, but yeah, you guys get my point. Subscribe, like, and I will be catching you all next time. One Dr. Genius, out the house, bye!